I love a sunburnt country, a land of sweeping plains, of ragged mountain ranges, of droughts and flooding rains. I love her far horizons. I love her jewelled sea, her beauty and her terror, the wide brown land for me. Hi, I'm Leah and welcome to Hide and Seek and welcome to the black soil plains of the Namoi Valley. And welcome to the Namoi Highway. So if you hear any truck noises, that's where we are. I've literally just pulled off on the road. Now, those lines are nothing more than simple, sweetly sentimental stanza in what is a basic nationalistic poem. Excuse the flies as well. However, to me, it is much more important. Firstly, nostalgia. Every Australian school child would have recited that poem at some point in their life. It is the cornerstone of poetic recitation in schools from when I was there in the dark ages through to now. The second reason I find that poem to be important to me is the way it represents the physicality of our land and here it is hot and dry and arid and I wear long sleeves not because I'm cold but to protect myself from the sun. And I think it represents that love of the land beautifully. And I think in a country where our first people did not have a written tradition, but rather a road train, rather, and another road train, didn't have a written tradition, but rather an oral tradition. I think Dorothea McKellar showed that love, the love of the land that the Aboriginal people had, and it's important that we remember that land today. And thirdly, and perhaps most importantly in modern Australia, I think it represents a goal and a dream that we all should look towards. Road train number three, peak hour on the highway. The reason why I think this poem is important today is that most Australians have chosen to come here. Whether that decision was forcibly put on them through convict transportation or any other ways, or they chose to come to Australia to make a better life. Primarily, Australians have come from somewhere else. So if you couple this poem with the lines in the lesser known verse, second verse of our national anthem that says, for those who come across the seas with boundless plains to share. In that line, we don't say, for middle-class white people who come from somewhere else, yeah, come along, you're in. We say, for those who come across the seas, because we all have come from across the seas. And I think that's an important point and an important discussion we need to have here in Australia now, that we have resources and we have space and we have the opportunity to give people fleeing countries that don't have those things to come and share the bounty that is Australia. So thank you for watching this rather erratic, poorly filmed, but at least give you a glimpse of where I live video and why I think my country is a wonderful sentimental poem that should perhaps have greater prominence in the minds of our politicians making decisions for us going forward. So have a fabulous day.